Some thoughts on the idea of knee dominant versus hip dominant jump and movement styles. Um, maybe these ideas will help you move and jump better. Um, thinking about this is definitely improving my jump style and is super important uh, for me to jump higher and to be able to do this between the legs dunk thing I'm working on. So um, I don't feel that I know it all about jumping at all. I am a decent jumper, jumping in the mid 30s, maxing a few of my best jumps around 40, but I want to add inches and do it safely. So as much information as I can get, the better. Um, this conversation started from video, comment on my video from INHOS Dunk Crew. Shout out to y'all um, for pointing out how much knee drive I have in my jump and advantages and potential disadvantages. So just to start off, for two foot jumpers, the idea of knee versus hip dominant jumping is how much you bend your knees for your jump versus how much you bend your hips. Um, and your low back. So for me, I'm not much of a hip low back guy. I'm more of a knee dominant in my jumping. My landing is something different entirely. So to give you guys a background on my um, injury history and how I've adapted my movement, um, I used to shoot super knock knee jump shots over and over until I tore some meniscus on the outside here and what that has done is has blocked my half squat when I get down to here there's a lot of pressure in the left knee so when I go I just fall into a deep squat and catch myself in the bottom position ideally my knees don't pop like that I don't think that matters a ton but that's kind of my landing style it doesn't make sense for me to ever stop in a half squat so my sitting position as well. Shout out to the poppy knees. Sometimes that's not a problem, but oh well. Anyways, uh, when we talk about the jump style, for me, I'm definitely super, what I have been doing is I'm super upright, get tons of knee bend and spring off, and that's a decent way to jump high. We see a lot of knee drive on sideways jumpers, guys like uh, T-Dub and Justin Darlington use a lot of knee drive. It's not necessarily dangerous, but I think that something that's been missing out in my jump is lowering of my body weight from the hips. So what I'm thinking for me to jump higher, instead of jumping with the maybe a straight back, if I can get lower, I can put more force into the ground. So what I'm working on is with my ball cuffed, jump more like this, right? I think that I can still take advantage of some serious knee bend to jump high, but if I am using my hips and my core more, I can get lower, which puts more force into the ground, and spring out of it. So consciously, this is an adjustment that I can make, but for adjusting my training, a good thing I can do is heavy deadlifts. So for me, for my jumping and my landing, I do a lot of um, clean and jerk. So, I mean, you can see it in some of my videos. My form is often set the bar down, deadlift situation, pull, get my hips into it, catch in the bottom position, push it up. Step back, drop, catch, drop, reverse pull. What I think I need to do for me to improve my hip style is just the, the heavy deadlifts. It's something for me to work on, I think. So, um, thanks to the commenters for commenting on my jump style as well as I'm looking to approve, improve uh, everything that I do, again, um, we want this channel to be a conversation, a discussion where new things are learned, me as well, and that's super important because I'm a ways from, from hitting my dunk goals still, as ambitious as they are, and I want to get there, so it's important that I keep learning and learn more, so here's some ideas for you um, and me on 
jumping higher, use of the hips and the knees and the core and the glutes and the hams and, and the quads for a whole body jump style and um, landing options and depends. And if you have previous knee condition like me, um, here's an option for how to land really safely. And even if you have, don't have any cartilage blocks in your knee, I'm mixed on landing and half squat anyways. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it. So I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Uh, how is this, is this helping you? Is this, and how else can you help me learn for myself how to jump higher in a safe manner? Because that's important to me. Um, if you want our last note, if you want our jump and landing training program, pre predominantly landing, uh, drop your email below and you'll get the, the, you should get an email immediately with it. So, peace. See you all in the comments.